The morning sun streamed through the pristine curtains of Nadia's living room, casting a warm glow on the spotless marble floor. The scent of freshly brewed coffee wafted through the house, and the hum of the vacuum gave evidence of Nadia's unending quest for perfection. Karim watched his wife from the doorway, rubbing his temples. Every time I come down for breakfast, it's like stepping into a show house, Nadia. Everything is just so perfect. Nadia, looking up from straightening the couch cushions, gave a proud smile. That's how I like it. Clean and organized, it's better for the kids too. Karim sighed, frustration evident. Wallahi, Nadia, it's not just about cleanliness. I can't remember the last time you asked about my day or just sat down to chat with me. Nadia looked taken aback. Isn't a clean house and well-raised kids enough? I do all this for our family. Karim took a deep breath, his voice tinged with sadness. The house is spotless, but it feels like you've wiped away our love with the same cloth you use on the furniture. If you continue like this, I might find another wife who has time for me. Nadia's eyes welled up with tears. You can't be serious, Karim. He sighed. I just want to feel important too, Nadia. Desperate to find solace, Nadia visited her mother-in-law, Fatima, that evening. As they sat in Fatima's cozy living room, surrounded by years of memories and cherished family photos, Nadia hesitated before pouring out her heart. Ummy, I feel lost. Karim doesn't appreciate what I do. Fatima sipped her tea, her face serious. My dear, a house is built with bricks and beams, but a home is made of love and dreams. Karim is crying out for attention. Nadia protested, but I work hard, Ami. I keep everything perfect for him and the children. Fatima set her cup down. Perfection is a mirage, Habibti. What Karim seeks is warmth and connection, not spotless floors. She continued, my son needs love and attention, just like you prioritize the children and the house. If you can't give him that, I fear he may look elsewhere to find happiness. Nadia gulped, the weight of the situation settling in. What should I do, Ami? Fatima, her voice soft yet firm, responded, find balance, Nadia. Show Karim he's as important as your house chores, before it's too late. The air between them grew heavy with unsaid words. Nadia knew change was essential, but the journey ahead seemed daunting. The chime of the doorbell pulled Nadia from her thoughts. She rushed to the door, and there stood Amal, her face glowing with warmth. The sisters exchanged a tight hug, a comforting familiarity in their routine. As they settled down with cups of kawa, Amal's observant eyes detected the shadows clouding Nadia's usually bright face. Ma Sha Allah, your home is as immaculate as ever, she began, trying to ease into the conversation. But you, you seem distant, Ukti. What's weighing on you? Nadia hesitated, her fingers playing with the rim of her cup. The silence stretched between them until she whispered, Karim feels neglected, Amal. He says, I don't make time for him anymore. It's tearing me apart. Amal reached across the table, covering Nadia's hand with her own. Yeah, Habibti, marriage is a dance of love and compromise. Tell me everything. Over the next hour, the room filled with Nadia's quiet confessions and Amal's understanding nods. Nadia shared her conversations with Karim and Fatima, her voice quivering with emotion. Amal sighed her heart aching for her sister. Ya Akti, life is all about balance. Think of your marriage as a garden. Each aspect, be it children, home, or your husband, is a plant. You must water all the plants, not just your favorite ones. If you focus only on one, the rest will wither. Nadia blinked back tears. But how do I make him understand that I do all this for us, for our family? Emil smiled gently. It's not about the house or the kids. It's about connection. When was the last time you two just sat together, shared a laugh, or even went out for a date? Nadia looked down, realizing it had been ages. Karim needs to feel cherished, Amal continued. You need to recreate those moments when love was fresh and everything else was just a backdrop. Ask about his day, 
dress up for him occasionally, light some candles at dinner. It's the little things, Nadia. Keep the flame alive. Nadia looked at her sister, hope rekindling in her eyes. It seems so simple when you say it. I've been lost in the routine and forgot about us. Amal squeezed her sister's hands. You can find your way back, I promise. Just remember, at the core of everything is love. Let that guide you. The day turned to evening, and as Amal prepared to leave, she hugged Nadia tightly. Find your balance, Nadia. Let Karim know he's not just a chapter, but the very essence of your story. Nadia nodded, determination building within. I will, inshallah. Thank you, Amal. Watching her sister leave, Nadia felt a surge of hope. She would rebuild the bridges, and with time, love, and understanding, her home would not just be a house, but a haven of happiness. The aroma of freshly cooked makluba filled the air as Nadia added the final touch to the dinner table. She looked herself over in the mirror, adjusting a stray strand of hair, her dress modest yet elegant. It wasn't for any occasion. It was just another evening, but Nadia had taken Emil's words to heart. The door creaked open, signaling Karim's return. Nadia eagerly approached, wrapping him in a warm embrace. Marhaba Habibi, how was your day? Karim, pleasantly surprised, kissed her forehead. Alhamdulillah, it was good, but coming home to this, it's even better. You look beautiful. Nadia blushed, it's for you, Yerovi. I realized I'd been missing out on cherishing these simple moments. Over the next few weeks, this became their routine. Conversations flowed freely, rekindling the spark they once felt. They laughed more, understood more, and most importantly, loved more. But not everyone looked at these changes kindly. At a family gathering, Nadia overheard Yasmin gossiping with another cousin, her voice dripping with sarcasm. Have you seen Nadia lately, acting all high and mighty, trying to be the perfect wife all of a sudden? Nadia's heart clenched, but she remembered Emil's advice. Instead of confronting Yasmin, she approached with grace. Salam, Yasmin, how are you? Yasmin looked taken aback for a moment, but quickly covered it with a smirk. Oh, Nadia, look at you, glowing and all. Trying to keep Karim's eyes only on you, huh? Nadia took a deep breath. We all change and grow, Yasmin. I'm just trying to be a better wife, a better mother. There's no harm in that, is there? Yasmin snorted. Just don't think you're better than the rest of us because of these new changes. Nadia smiled gently. That's not my intention. I just want happiness for my family. And shouldn't we all want that for each other? Before Yasmin could retort, Fatima approached, wrapping her arm around Nadia. Mashallah, my daughter-in-law has outdone herself today. The food, the atmosphere, everything is wonderful. Nadia hugged her back, grateful for the support. Yasmin rolled her eyes and turned away, but Nadia was unfazed. As the evening continued, the laughter and chatter around her were a testament to the joy she was bringing to her household. Later that night, as they settled into bed, Karin whispered, You handled Yasmin with such grace today. Nadia snuggled closer. What matters is us, our family. I won't let anyone's words sway me from our happiness. Karim kissed the top of her head. That's my Nadia, always shining brightly, no matter the storm. And as they drifted into sleep, the winds of change continued to blow, bringing with them hope, love, and a newfound understanding. The evening breeze played with the curtains, the golden hue of the sunset reflecting on the glass of mint tea on the table. Karim and Nadia sat on their balcony, the city's distant sounds a subtle background to their intimate setting. Nadia took a deep breath, letting the crisp air fill her lungs. You know, Karim, she began, looking at the horizon, before, I thought perfection was about having everything in order, ensuring everything was spotless. But now, now I see it differently. Karim tilted his head, looking at her, how so? Nadia's fingers played with the hem of her dress. I realized that the essence of time isn't about doing everything. It's about doing the right things at the right moments. 
Karim chuckled, you mean like making sure the cushions are fluffed exactly at 5 p.m.? She nudged him playfully, exactly. Well, maybe not the cushions, but spending time with the ones we love, sharing moments like this one. Karim took a sip of his tea, his eyes thoughtful. I remember Babo once told me that time is like sand. If you don't hold it right, it just slips through your fingers. And what does holding it right mean to you? Nadia inquired, genuinely curious. To me, Karim said, putting down his tea and turning to face her fully, it means ensuring that every grain of sand counts. Every moment should be meaningful, whether it's with you, the kids, or even in solitude. It's about ensuring I don't have regrets about how I spent my time. Nadia smiled. So, do you regret all those times I made sure our home was impeccable? Karim laughed, pulling her close, not one bit. But I cherish these moments more. The moments when it's just you and me, talking about life and understanding each other better. Their conversation was interrupted by the soft calls of their children playing in the garden below. Nadia looked down and waved, look at them, growing so fast. Time truly does fly. Karim followed her gaze, his expression softening, yes, it does. And it reminds me to make every second with them count. There was a moment of silence between them, filled only by the distant sounds of the city and the laughter of their children. Nadia finally broke it, her tone reflective. I think life is all about balance. Balancing our duties, our desires, and most importantly, our time. Karim nodded in agreement. It's not about choosing between the house or our relationship. It's about making time for both and understanding that both are crucial in their own way. Nadia leaned her head on his shoulder once more, feeling a sense of contentment she hadn't felt in a long time. Karim? Humim. I promise to always make time for us, no matter how busy life gets. Our moments together, like this one, they're what truly matters. Karim tightened his grip around her, and I promise the same. Always. As the evening turned to night, the two of them sat there, lost in their thoughts in each other's company. For in the vast expanse of time, it was these fleeting moments of love and connection that truly mattered.